Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Monday, June 25th, 2018. I'm Fredicia Liburd. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, today, Monday, June 25th, held the fifth in his series of press conferences as Premier of Nevis. Premier Brantley commenced today's press conference by extending congratulations to Division C, the Nevis Division of the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, currently under the supervision of Superintendent of Police, Lyndon David. I see we are represented here by the man who is now leading the force in Nevis on a temporary basis. Uh, I welcome you, uh, sir, Superintendent David, and welcome you to that position. And I want to commend you and your team. I believe that the police have recently been demonstrating uh, far greater uh, vigilance, and we have seen that in terms of results. We have seen recently arrests made, firearms taken off the street, and I want to commend the police for their vigilance and encourage them to continue to be vigilant and to work hard. Uh, we as a Nevis Island administration, I like to say, have no constitutional responsibility for funding for the security forces. But not, that notwithstanding, we have uh, always over the years maintained a presence and maintained that posture of support for the police. And so I want to commend the police, continue to say to them that they have in us, the Nevis Island administration, a friend and a partner, and we will continue to do whatever we can to encourage them and to assist them in the work that they're doing. If they get their job right, then all of Nevis benefits. And I continue from this rostrum to ask for the people of Nevis to contribute to support and partner with our police. They cannot do it by themselves. They cannot do it by themselves. And so we need the support. So congratulations, Superintendent David and your team. The Premier also announced today that the members of the Integrity in Public Life Commission have been appointed and their instruments have been issued. And I am told that I'm free now to say who the members are. As I have said in a number of press conferences before, the legislation passed since 2013 requires that the chair of that commission be a retired judge or lawyer of 15 years experience or over. And so we looked very carefully, and in the wisdom of the Deputy Governor General acting, she has selected Mr. Ricardo Keynes to function as the chair of the Integrity and Public Life Commission. The other two members were Mr. Alfred Tyrrell, who was the nominee of the opposition, and Mrs. Sidney Newton, who was the nominee of the government. And so we welcome that significant body being established. They will now have to get down to the business of organizing a budget, and the hope would be that in short order, we would have a functional integrity in public life uh, um, commission and a functional integrity in public life bill. I want to thank the public for their patience. It's been a long time coming, but I did commit that we would do it in six months. The integrity in public life legislation establishes clear rules and guidelines to govern the manner in which serving politicians and public servants conduct the business of the people of Nevis. It will be used to evaluate the performance of their duties, provide a system which will act as a watchdog to protect the integrity of the public service and seek to prevent abuse of the public office. From Tuesday 26th to Thursday 28th June, St. Kitts and Nevis will be hosting its inaugural diaspora conference for nationals living abroad. The conference will be held at the St. Kitts Marriott Resort under the theme, Building Partnerships Towards Sustainable Development. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome all of you to the first ever diaspora conference being celebrated at the Marriott Resort from 26th to 28th June 2018. This is a flagship event for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs that I'm privileged to lead. And I want to thank all of you for responding in your numbers to come here, come home to St. Kitts and Nevis and be a part of this diaspora conference. The aim of the conference is to engage you, to get your ideas, to reacquaint you with your home country, to show you all that we are doing, and to, of course, get a sense from you as to how we can partner to take St. Kitts and Nevis forward. This first is of critical importance, that your ideas, your energy, your capacity, the incredible skill and talent and pool and reservoir of ability that we have in the diaspora, that that be brought to bear on the development of our home, St. Kitts and Nevis. 
We welcome you. We trust and hope that whilst you're here, you will see all that we have to offer. You will, of course, see all of St. Kitts, but also see all of Nevis. See all the possibilities, the progress that the country has made, and certainly see the various developments that have occurred. And, of course, the options for investment that are available. We invite you to be a part of the tapestry of St. Kitts and Nevis. We invite you to invest. We invite you to lend your ideas, lend your expertise, and really and truly help us in our development of our country. St. Kitts and Nevis's Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Honorable Mark Brantley, in his welcome message. The Diaspora Conference will target priority areas such as agriculture, the development of small and medium enterprises, renewable energy, engineering, information and communication technologies, and tourism. An opening ceremony and cultural extravaganza will be held under the patronage of Governor General, His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton on Tuesday, June 26th. The business breakfast, however, will take place in Nevis. The Nevis is not going to be left out because we have a business breakfast on Nevis on Thursday, the 28th, June at Montpellier. The Tourism Authority and the Nevis Investment Promotion Agency will seize the opportunity to promote Nevis and promote investment opportunities in Nevis. The Diaspora Conference is designed to bring members of the Diaspora home, to say to them from wherever they may be living that there are opportunities here and we certainly want our people who are in the Diaspora to continue to recognize that they are of critical importance and critical value to what we're doing here in St. Kitts and Nevis in terms of our development. Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, during his monthly press conference held today, Monday, June 25th, at the Cabinet Room at the Social Security Building at Pinnis Estate. Still to come... If you're going to be involved in something, whether it is what you see as your career path or not, be the best that you can be at it. The details right after this break. Welcome back. Junior Minister of Education, the Honorable Troy Liburd, has encouraged the participants of the 2018 Prospective Teachers Training Course to be the best they can be at their job, as it is one of the most important and influential jobs in the world. One of the persons who you're going to see as a youngster, or the people who you're going to see as a youngster coming up most, are your teachers, because you're going to spend five days per week in school with your teachers. You're going to spend nights at home with your parents, but if you look at it, you're going to spend maybe from five in the afternoon until eight, and then everybody is going to sleep. You wake up in the morning and the whole focus is on getting to school. It is at school with your teachers that you are influenced the most. And what I would like for, for you two to do, if you're going to be involved in something, whether it is what you see as your career path or not, be the best that you can be at it while you are doing it. The Minister of Education gave these encouraging words at the opening ceremony of the annual Prospective Teachers Training Course held at the Department of Education at Marin Heights today, Monday, June 25th. And I hope that all of you will take advantage of this and take the opportunities to advance your abilities to move yourself forward and to do the best that you can in influencing the lives of the children that you will come across. With those few words, I want to take the opportunity to declare the prospective teacher's course for 2018 
officially open. The two-week training course will cover a wide variety of topics including, but are not limited to, rules and regulations of the public service, professional ethics, classroom management, methodology assessment, and enhancing English skills. The goal of the workshop is to prepare the participants for possible placement as teachers through the presentation of an exciting workshop which would foster love for teaching. The workshop begins at 8.30 a.m. daily and concludes at 1.45 p.m. and is being held under the theme Education for All, Embracing Change, Securing the Future. At the end of the two-week training workshop, a closing ceremony will be held and the certificates will be distributed to the prospective teachers. The following is a notice of a scholarship offer from the Organization of American States, OAS. The Nevis Island Administration's Ministry of Human Resources has announced that through the OAS Partnerships Program for Education and Training, scholarship opportunities to study online for a master's degree in engineering, energy and infrastructure online, and a master's and a doctoral degree on site in Brazil are being offered. Programs commence as soon as July 12, 2018 for a duration of two years for a master's degree and four years for a doctoral degree. Additionally, deadlines are as close as June, July 5, 2018. General questions regarding the application process, requirements, and important dates should be emailed to becasbrazil at oas.org. For more information on the coordination of the program, contact Laureen Dursky at ldurski at oas.org. For any other detailed information, visit www.oas.org. Nevis Electricity Company Limited Nevlec customers are advised of a scheduled power outage to facilitate the maintenance of lines. Consumers are advised to take note of the power outage for Tuesday, June 26th from 9 a.m. to noon. The areas to be affected are Malcolm Hill to Long Point Road in the vicinity of Hosford's Value Mart and areas in close proximity. Customers are advised to take every precaution to safeguard electrical equipment at all times of interruption and restoration to the electrical supply. Nevlek apologizes for the inconvenience that they may, that may be caused by the outage and remind customers that in each case, service may be delayed to later than the specified time. For additional information, call Nevlek's customer service at 469-7243. 469-7245 or 662-5799 or its emergency service at 469-9100 or 662-5811. That's how we end this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Felicia Liburd. Thank you for viewing.